Tony coming from Big Dogs Port. Just want to clear some things up about these GT40 uppers. Um, it's been floating around for years on the internet. You know, some porters out there telling people that, you know, it doesn't make a difference to port the uppers and the lowers are the biggest restriction. And in stock form, yes, the lowers are the biggest restriction, but you get a tremendous amount of flow in cross section area by working the uppers. The uppers come with a small throttle body opening and and the runners are restricted and has a lot of cast and flash and the cross section area is, is is really small. So a lot of guys when they when they you know get their lowers mildly ported by other porters and they run a stock upper, you know, they don't even make three hundred horsepower to the rear wheels. Which is ridiculous because if you can't make 300 horsepower to the rear wheels, you're doing something wrong. Um, especially with, you know, aftermarket parts or ported parts, you know, aftermarket heads. So with our manifold, our uppers, I'm going to demonstrate, you know, just our stage two. This is not the stage three, cut and welded. This is stage two with our runners. Here's a stock GT40 upper and a stage two ported GT40 upper. Just demonstrating. This is a 7 8 socket, our trusty socket. Just demonstrating how far that goes down on all the runners versus the stop. And also, our throttle body open. 75 millimeter standard. We can go 80 with welding. We can go 85. Here's the, the stock upper. As you see, you can't get that. So for guys telling, you know, customers and car enthusiasts that porting the upper, you're not going to get any power. That's a lie. You know, if, if your porter is telling you that, then you need to fire him and come on the big dog's port. All right. Catch you guys at the track.